Welcome to Play This Hand With Me. We are going to be counting today. So get out your pen and paper and let's do some counting. Here we have a hand, as always, declare. We're gonna be counting as declare. We do count as defender, but this hand we're going to be counting as declare. And there's two things that we count about the defender's hands. We count the defender's shape and we count the defender's high card points. And I often get questions about, well, how do you know when to do what? Well, usually you choose the counting method based on the, what you know about the defender's hands. And let me show you as an example this hand. Let's start with the auction. West passes, north passes, east passes, and south opens one diamond. West passes, north bids one heart. East passes, south bids one spade. West passes, and north raises to two spades, and it goes all pass. So as the defenders, their checklist is review the auction. They would be using the number rule of 19 because the opponents had no kind of invitational auction, right? They, they neither north or south said, hey, I have extra values. So the defenders are subtracting from 19 and West puts out the opening lead of the Ace of Hearts. So let's sit in Declare's chair for a little bit and then I will walk you through the first several tricks and then give you a chance to solve the puzzle, right? Because every bridge hand is a puzzle. And so from South perspective, first thing we have to do after we review the auction, we interpret the opening lead, which we've already done. The ace is promising the king. Is we decide which hand is the master hand. Okay, so generally master hand checklist goes like this. It's the long trump hand. We don't have a long trump hand, it's equal. It's the stronger honor side, well, we have ace 10 of spades in south hand and king jack of spades in north hand so the honors are equal then you look to the shape of the hand is there one hand that has more shape than the other and they're both four four three two they're both our thumbs up shape so defaulting what i suggest is you always just count your losers from the declarer's hand either the one you're holding in face to face or the one that is closest to you on the screen you can, at the point that the length is equal and the strength is equal and the shape of the hand is equal, you can choose either hand, whatever works for you. I always choose the declarer's hand just so consistency, but bottom line, you have to choose one or the other. You can't count losers from both hands. Well, you can, but it's just too much work, right? So we're gonna draw a line between our declare hand and our dummy, and we're gonna count losers from South's hand. We're going to call South our master hand. And this is what we do anytime we're in a suit contract. If you're in a no trump contract, you're counting winners in both hands at the same time. When you're in a suit contract, you've got to go through your master hand analysis and choose one. And if you wanna make it a random choice of which one you choose, fine. The checklist will find will get you to the easier of the two to analyze. So we're picking south. So first thing you do is go through your side suits and count your losers, okay? Because how you play your trump suit is going to be determined on how many losers you have in your side suits. So looking at the heart suit and you go step one, step two. So in the hearts, we have two losers, the jack and the nine of hearts, two losers. And we look over to North's hand. North is called the cover card hand. We look to see if North has any cover cards in the heart suit, which they do not. So we have two losers and we label those fast losers. Okay, there's two types of losers. There's fast losers and slow losers. So two fast losers in the hearts. And yes, I know we've got the queen 10 of hearts over there and that sometimes distracts us. We only look for cover cards for the losers we have in South's hand. And right now, we don't need the Queen Ten of Hearts. We just have two losers. Maybe later on, the Queen Ten of Hearts become extra winners 
that we discard other losers on if we have time. But this hand, we're not going to have time. In the diamonds, we're missing the ace of diamonds. So we look over to North's hand. There's no ace of diamonds there. So we have one fast loser. Now, these fast losers mean that the defenders, as soon as they're on lead, they can go cash, 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 cash. They can just take their winners at will. Slow losers are like secondary, thir third round, fourth round losers where the defenders have to go through an honor card of yours to get to their winner. And then we come to the clubs and we have three losers in the club suit. If you say to yourself, it depends, then it's a loser. So we look over to North's hand and North's Jack acts as a cover card. It teams up with the queen. As long as Declare doesn't play this suit, this is actually called a never ever suit. You never ever wanna play the suit yourself as Declare. And we end up with just two losers, the ace, king of clubs. And they're fast. So let's total up our losers here. We have two, four, five losers. Five fast losers. In other words, the opponents can take the ace, king of hearts, the ace of diamonds, the ace, king of clubs, and hand is over. Okay, so five fast losers. And we haven't even gotten to the trump suit. All right, so now we take a look at the spade suit. And we're missing the queen. So this is the story of the queen of spades. Who has the queen of spades? And these types hands, a lot of times our partners will play the hand and go down and say, well, sorry, unlucky, I misguessed the queen. Now, generally when you're missing the queen of a suit, doesn't have to be the trump suit, just any suit, the queen of any suit. When you work through your counting tools, right, which takes practice, it does take practice, but it's worth the effort of anything you do in your bridge game. It's worth the effort to put in to, to get your counting skills up to par. So we're gonna look for that queen of spades. That's our issue card. Who has the queen of spades? Because we're booked, right? Declares in two spades can have five losers. We have five losers in our side suit, which means we can't lose a spade. If we miss guess, which I just told you it's not really a guess, but if we lose to, to the queen of spades, we know we're down, we're done, we're six losers. Now this queen of spades is a slow loser, right? I was talking about the difference between fast losers and slow losers. This queen of spades is a slow loser and that means we have time to potentially eliminate that loser. The opponents can't take the queen of spades without going through South's ace or North's king. So how do we go about this? What do we know? I mentioned at the very beginning that Declare counts the defender's shape and their high card points. And you generally count what you know the most about. Sometimes you can count both, but usually if you count either their shape or their high cards, you come to at least an educated guess, right? And sometimes it's going, it's 100%. Sometimes it's 100%, which it's gonna be on this hand. So let's go back to the bidding. Always clues in the bidding. That's why I tell you either as declare or as defender, the first thing you do is review that auction and include all of your passes. So let's go back for a moment to the bidding up here in the top left-hand corner. West passed, all right? What does that tell us? Less than 12 high card points. North pass, that's our dummy. We're not as interested in that because we can see that, right? And then East passed. Now these passes are called original passes, meaning that each of these players had an opportunity to open the bidding and they chose to pass. So the inference is that they each have less than 12 high card points. I don't know anything about either West or East shape because they didn't bid anything, but I know a heck of a lot about their high card points. So we're gonna count high card points on this example. And starting with the Ace of Hearts, we can put seven points in West's hand right away. 
We don't actually have to physically see the honor to know it's there, right? So when I say see in quotes, we see the king of hearts in West Hand. So that's seven points right then and there. And at most West can have is 11 because we've, from the bidding, we have identified West and East as having less than 12 high card points. Okay, so here goes the first few tricks. Ace of hearts, three of hearts, East plays the six and nine and South plays low. All right, so that six from West perspective is looking pretty low. West actually in their hand, if we could see their hand has also the five and the two. So West can see the two in their hand, the three and the four of hearts in North's hand and the five in their own hand. So that six is attitude saying, I don't have shortness here, partner. I don't have the queen, which is obvious because it's in North's hand and I don't have shortness. So I would look for a source of tricks in some other suit before we set up that queen of hearts and dummy. So we just know about the king because of the opening lead. It hasn't been played yet. So West shifts to the five of clubs. And the trick goes two of clubs by North, king of clubs by East, and seven of clubs by South. Now, as the clearer, I would have some clues there. I would not think West has the Ace of Clubs and underled the Ace of Clubs, right? Versus a suit contract. That's just something we don't normally do. And I know I don't have the Ace of Clubs in my hand as South, and I, I can see Dummy. Dummy doesn't have the Ace of Clubs. So I'm going to place the Ace of Clubs in East hand in quotes. That's the inference of the third hand play. So all of a sudden at trick two, East has seven points. At trick three, East does indeed cash the Ace of Clubs and everyone follows. West follows up with the eight. So we know that he has an odd number and North plays the six. And East returns the seven of hearts over to their partner's king. So now the king of hearts is showing, but we already knew they had it. And North plays low. And at trick five, West exits with the 10 of clubs just to get out. North plays the jack, East plays the four, and South plays the queen. So now South is on lead. And we're still looking for that queen of spades. So what we're gonna do with South as declare, and this is one of our many techniques that we use for counting a hand. We're going to have a discovery play in the diamond suit. We're going to find out who has the ace of diamonds. Do you see what's coming now, right? Who has the ace of diamonds? And we're going to use the promotion technique on the diamond suit to force West to win the Ace of Diamonds or East to win the Ace of Diamonds, whoever has it, right, is going to add to 11 high card points, which means there's no room for the Queen of Spades in that defender's hand. So in other words, whoever, whichever defender shows up with the Ace of Diamonds, opposite defender has the Queen of Spades. So by finding the Ace of Diamonds, we also find the queen of spades all in one play. So we still can't pull Trump because we don't know which way to play our finesse. We have a two way spade finesse here and depending on who, which defender we think has the queen of spades, that's gonna determine how we play our spades. So South leads out the king of diamonds and West wins the ace. and everybody plays low. So now, South knows who has the queen of spades. Yeah, East, East, because 
Wes now has seven points in hearts plus four points in diamonds is 11 tie card points. And the bidding has told us that each of West and East hold less than 12 high card points. So West now just leads out another diamond just to return the diamond to Declare. And now Declare plays a low spade. West follows up to the king because we now know East has the queen. East plays low. And we lead out the jack of spades so we can repeat the finesse in case East has length there. Now East actually plays the queen of spades on the second round of the spades. South wins the ace while West follows. South now plays the last third round of spades to pull the last spade out of, it turns out, West's hand. And don't look now, but the master hand is all good. The queen jack 10 of diamonds is good. The nine of spades is good. The heart losers are gone. The club losers are gone. South can now claim, making two. <laughs> all right, so that's a counting hand. And we counted out the defender's high card points based on the clues from the bidding. That does it for us for our mini lesson. Thanks for joining me and I'll be seeing you online. See you later.